I am Arturo Pelayo. I am from Mexico, Guadalajara, Mexico, and I am a designer. I'm currently at Singularity University uh, here in NASA Ames Research Park. My name is Heather Heine, H-E-I-N-E. I am a uh, recently graduated MD-PhD from the University of British Columbia and I do stem cell research. My name is Gustav Borje Falk. I'm from Sweden and I am an entrepreneur. My name is Sharon McPherson and I'm the executive chair of the Women's Enterprise Development Initiative. My name is Carly Bellini. I'm a doctor and I'm from Australia. I'm Ray Kurzweil. I'm an inventor, author and futurist. I'm chancellor here at Singularity University. When I was younger, I was short. I had long hair down to, down to the shoulders and uh, I didn't have that many friends because there weren't that many friends that could understand what I, I thought was fun. I thought I was never gonna get a cool job. I thought I was never gonna, uh, never gonna go to some cool university. I thought I was never gonna get a girlfriend. 20 years ago, I would have never seen my life where it is now. Uh, I was uh, constantly being bullied in school. I, I always was interested in science and sometimes it's not the, the easiest in school. I grew up in a pretty conservative part of the United States. Um, my family was religious. Uh, everything around me was religious. And uh, I was different in a lot of ways. Like the queer thing I was different in is its own thing, but I was also a giant nerd. Bisexual. <laughs> That's a term that I've been pretty afraid of for a long time and I'm, I'm still kind of afraid of it now. Um, I'm the youngest of eight, and not only was I bullied when I was in school, but I was bullied at home by my siblings. And my, my response to bullying was to withdraw um, and to run away from home. And um, I started doing drugs uh, and experimenting with uh, all kinds of ways to make the pain go away because I was very lonely, I was very isolated, and I was very sad. I was hurt and afraid and um, I found that there was something that happened internally where I became angry because no one has a right to hurt another person and make them feel like they don't belong. Everyone belongs. I think there's a time in everyone's life when they face hardship and they may be bullied for believing in something that other people don't want them to believe in and they feel suppressed. They can't be themselves and they can feel really alone. Well, when I was a teenager, I, I had a passion for my own projects. People thought I was pretty strange, but basically I could care less. It really doesn't matter what people think. And so I worked on these computer projects and ended up taking this computer that I built that could compose music on national television and have had an interesting career inventing computer things since that time. I wish I could meet up with the younger versions of me these days and assure them that all they have to do is make it to university. It really does get better. It gets way better. It's different when you're a grown-up, and it, all of you, that's coming for you. You're going to have your turn, so just get through, you know, whatever's going on and, and hang in there. It gets better. Today, I am studying at one of the best schools in Sweden. I got a wonderful girlfriend, and I'm here at NASA Ames building robots with astronauts. And that is just amazing. If I knew this as a kid, life would be much, much easier. Growing up just kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, and, and I think that now, now that I'm older and have a little bit more self-assurance than the rest of me, I can look people in the eye and say, look, I'm really not comfortable with that label. Um, but yes, I've dated both men and women. And just leave it at that. Stay strong, believe in yourself, because it gets better. Don't be a bystander. If you see somebody doing something that's really not cool, say something about it. 
stick up for you know that person uh, who is being bullied um, and then maybe one day when you're in a situation where you need help someone's going to stick up for you. You have an impact and it's important for you to know that it gets better. So don't really waste time thinking about what people think. What they think actually is a reflection of them and not you and find something you're passionate about something you care about, where you can be creative and express yourself, and it can be anything, and put, put your energy into that, and uh, you'll prevail in the end. It gets better.